Hello, let's do the first. Let's do uh, MRI whole spine. For this, first register the patient and then select the whole spine protocols. For this, I have now selecting from the cervical spine with whole spine folder and I selected six protocols. Top three is the three localizer for cervical dorsum and lumbar spine. And the bottom three is the T2 sagittal sequence for cervical dorsal and lumbar spine. And the technique is that the three sequences are composed together to make a whole spine. So let's see how it works. So right now the cervical spine localizer have been completed and images appeared in the exam segments and now dorsal spine localizer is running so this whole spine will software will make this composing automatically in this software but sometimes in the older software it needs to compose the whole spine manually by the composing app So my dorsal localizer has scanned and now the lumbar spine localizer is running. You can see that the dorsal spine localizer is showing here, sagittal coronal and now lumbar spine is running, lumbar spine localizer not the original sequence. So this three localizers will com compose together to make a whole spine localizer you will see that you, you can see that in the first segment there is the uh, whole spine localizer so there is the three localizer i drag first one is the cervical then dorsal and lumbar now i am planning for the t2 sagittal cervical spine this is the first part of the whole spine and for this I am planning on the sagittal image. Notice that the slice number is 11 and I, I am increasing the slice thickness to 3.5. To compose the three part whole spine, cervical, dorsal and lumbar make sure that the all the sequence have the same number of slices like this for this there is 11 slices for each of the protocol now i am planning for dorsal you can see that the slice number is also 11 here and cervical spine sagittal t2 sagittal sequence as running and I have planned the dorsal spine and now I have to plan for the lumbar spine part adjust the saturation band in front of the lumbar spine and drag the field of view so that the, the whole um, sacrum and coccyx is covered and now plan the slices on the coronal image place the mid slice at the spinal cord and now click apply so my three uh, protocols sagittal cervical dorsal and lumbar have been planned and they will scan after by after and if you see that there is a function called composing so it should be tick mark in, in the all the protocols and go to system so go to inline and check the composing is it inline composing is tick mark on and the last one the last step will be checked by inline and then composing and inline composing tick mark and the last step tick mark 
the last step should be tick mark so that the software can understand that the, this is the last step and and these three sequence should be composed together so my all the sequence have complete you can see that the my holy spine has appeared here the software automatically compose the protocols to make a a holy spine image so let's see check out the holy spine from the patient browser i drag the holy spine series to the viewing you can see that these three protocols com composing make a holy spine thank you don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell button so that you get the notification as soon as i upload a video thank you